Well, joining me now is Kimberly Faith Hickman. She is the Artistic Director with the Omaha Community Playhouse. Um, welcome, Kimberly. Thank you for having me. Um, you have an exciting um, season coming up again. Uh, I'm always love. I always love to kind of get the notice um, when you pronounce or announce what you're going to be doing. So, so let's talk a little bit about this upcoming season. Yeah, we're uh, entering our 94th season. Oh my which, gosh. Yeah, it's pretty incredible, and it's a really exciting season. I think um, I've been in my position. This is my the start of my third season in this role as artistic director and um, a group of us work really hard to put our seasons together and make yeah. sure that we're trying to meet the different needs of the community because we want our season to be as diverse as Omaha is and so there there's a lot of thought process that goes into the shows that we select and a lot of um, roundtable discussions about the content and what what purpose it serves and how it fits within our mission and so we've worked really hard to come up with what we have for 94. Okay so what's kicking off the season? So kicking off the season opening tomorrow actually is Fun Home which is a Pulitzer Prize finalist and Tony Award winner for Best Musical a couple of years ago. Um, it's this true story of a woman named Allison Bechtel. Allison is a graphic novelist and this is the story of her life growing up to write the novel that she's best known for which is called Fun Home. And um, Allison grew up in a funeral home. Her father ran a funeral home. Hmm. And this is a relationship a story about her relationship with her father. And uh, it's a really cool musical. And the, ca the character of Allison is seen at three different stages of her life uh, as a child, in college, and as an adult. And um, adult Allison narrates this musical as she's drawing out the graphic novel that she's you know best known for. And um, it examines the relationship with her father and how she came to know him as she was writing this book and knowing more about him as a person and less as her father. So it's really about yeah. seeing, learning that your parents are people, you know? Um, and then we're kicking off the main stage in September with Shrek the Musical. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, lots of fun, um, something really different, but uh, two really great stories um, that serve different needs. And right. A lot of fun. Because you have two, so, so um, Fun House, Fun Home. Mm -hmm. Fun Home is mm -hmm. in the Howard Drew. Yes. And then um, Shrek, Shrek the Musical kicks off on the main stage. Correct. Because you've got performances typically going in both. Correct. Um, throughout yes. the year. We we use the Howard Drew Theater for stories that we feel like need more of an intimate yes, setting. Yes, for sure. And then the main stage we're able to do, um, we're able to play to a larger audience, but also um, we're able to do more technical aspects and spectacle on the right. main stage. Absolutely. Yeah. And how many performances do you have this year between the two of them? It depends. So uh, our main stage shows run anywhere from four to five weeks and our Howard Drew shows run anywhere from four to five weeks as well. Okay. Um, so the musicals usually run about five weeks, plays four weeks. And then, I mean, a big thing is to go buy a, subscri a season subscription pass because yes. that gets you to all of them. Um, Correct. And whatnot. So tell us a little bit, where can people go to actually see the whole lineup and to buy a subscription? So the best place I would say is certainly our website, uh, omahaplayhouse.com. That gives the breakdown of the season in the different spaces. The, our season ticket offerings are really great. We, you can buy the whole thing for both theaters or you can choose just the main stage if okay. bigger, splashier spectacle is, is what you're drawn to. Or you can choose just the Drew series if you want something that's a little more intimate. Um, but you can also do a pick three subscription where you can mix and match. Nice. Um, yeah, so there's a really, uh, really good variety, I think, in flexibility, which is important, mm -hmm. especially, you know, everyone's so busy with jobs and families and, you know, having something that's the most flexible, um, I think is really important. We're able to offer that. And uh, our website or the box office, we have a great box office staff that's very knowledgeable about our offerings and a team of volunteers that work in the box office that are fantastic and, and very helpful. And those are the best places to go to learn more about those details. Yeah, and it is really nice. Um, again, you can buy the whole season, you know, all the performances, or you can mix and match. That makes that makes it nice, but to also just get a little flavoring of, of the different things. And what do you, so I know you usually have a big opener and you've got really great performances throughout the year. And of mm -hmm. course the Christmas Carol is big. And then Billy McWiggin, his- Yesterday and today and Rock Twist. Mm -hmm. Is big. And then what are you closing the season with? So we're closing the season with two really very different types of uh, types of shows. Uh, Ragtime will be closing our main stage okay. season, which is a really big musical, turn of the century. It's about um, 
uh, immigration in America. And um, the, the Playhouse did this uh, about a decade ago, okay. and it got a lot of positive response. But um, we felt like it was time to bring it back. And so yeah. uh, there's been a lot of demand of, where, when are you going to do Ragtime again? And so we thought this would be the year to do it. And then Closing the Drew um, is a production called Men on Boats. And it is about a group of men traveling down the Colorado River. However, that group of men will be played all by women. And so it's women. Yeah, okay. women playing men. We did a, we have an alternative programming series that's free to the public and it's just stage readings. And so we did an all female reading of 1776, um, which is a historic musical. And um, we had standing room only at that alternative programming event and so we thought you know what let's look and see what other all-female uh, productions are out there and this one we read men on boats and we thought it was really funny um, you know you don't think riding down the Colorado River is going to be hysterical but it actually is <laughs> and, um, and uh, that's going to be directed by uh, Dr. Amy Lane who's a Creighton University okay. professor and uh, so yeah so we're closing with something really yeah. different on uh, on the main stage and in the Drew but I'm really excited yeah. about that. Well, that's great. So tickets, again, go to omahaplayhouse.com. Mm -hmm. You can buy a variety of different ways, however it suits your needs, or even the individual tickets. So again, I just want to thank you for being here today. Thank and you. excited to have the season being kicked off. Yeah, so. and, and I'll go ahead and say too, while I'm here, um, in addition, when you buy a season ticket, you also get other perks. You get discounts to our Henry Fonda Theater Academy classes when we have special events. Sometimes you get the early bird access sure. to those tickets or special discounts. So there are a lot of advantages yeah. that come with buying a season ticket other than even just the season ticket okay. itself. Yeah. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you. me today. Thank you. And thank you.